Well, February 14th is not just Valentine's Day, but it is National Organ Donors Day. And it is my great pleasure to be joined by Joe Roth today, the president and CEO of New Jersey Sharing Network. Joe, thanks for speaking with me. You're welcome, Brian. Good to be here. Thank you. So, Joe, tell me why it's important for people to consider being an organ donor. Well, that's a great question. Um, first off, there are nearly 4,000 New Jerseyans waiting for the life-saving gift of an organ transplant. Uh, there are almost 108,000 people nationally waiting for a transplant. So that's the prime reason for people to sign up to be an organ donor is to save lives. Um, you know, you can't take your organs with you. So uh, it's good to leave them here for somebody to use it. I want to ask a, a sort of dummies question, right? People will watch this and they'll wonder, well, how do I literally do it? How do I sign up? And how can you help people do that? Well, we try to make it as easy as possible. Uh, the first, first and foremost, they can go to our website at www.njsharingnetwork.org. And there is a hot button on the, on the homepage that says become an organ donor. And it'll give you the option uh, to either sign up through the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Commission or sign up on the uh, Donate Life America donor registry. That's the easiest way to do it. When you go in to renew your driver's license, you can do it then. They'll ask you uh, the question. And a more interesting one is if you have an iPhone, and hopefully soon it'll be on an Android, you can use the health app on the iPhone to sign up as an organ donor, and that will register you at, on the Donate Life America donor registry. Wow, amazing. And that's on iPhones and hopefully coming soon to Android phones. Correct. Yes, wow. on iPhone. So let me ask you about the New Jersey Sharing Network. Can you give me a high-level view of your mission and, and what you do over there with your great team? The New Jersey Sharing Network is a federally designated organ procurement organization. Uh, we service uh, most of New Jersey, uh, the, the, the northern 14 counties and two hospitals in Camden. We have been in existence for almost 34 years. And uh, our job is to identify, um, consent, uh, coordinate the recovery and allocation of organs for transplant. So, so Joe, tell me about how the New Jersey Sharing Network is, is really making a difference because you continue to grow your capabilities and, and involvement with the community. Tell me how things are going. Well, they're, they're, they're going great, um, considering that our, our, our job means that some other, somebody's lost their life in order to become uh, an organ donor. However, we keep moving the needle actually and, and set records every year. Over the last 10 years, we've increased organ donation by 35%. And in 2020, even during the pandemic, we set an all time record of 222 organ donors. And we expect to break that again in 2021. During the pandemic, um, we had a couple of months where we had slow down because the hospitals were overwhelmed, but we still were, our staff, God bless them, they, they every day went into the hospitals to focus on our mission yeah. and they are considered essential healthcare workers. So, and, and they've gone into the hospitals at great personal risk at times because of the pandemic and have managed to keep our momentum going. And for that, we're very appreciative. Uh, and we also appreciate our hospital partners who understand the need to allow our staff to continue to do their, their work in the hospital. You know, it occurs to me as, as a follow-up to that, um, you know, there are the practical aspects of what you and your organization do, but there are human stories behind every donation. And that is not lost on you, that uh, these connections and these these people that are donors, uh, these are real stories. And you and your organization bring that to life. You bring that to the community. Can you tell me what that means to you? Well, every donor family that, uh, that we, we get to know is special to us because their loved one made the ultimate gift, uh, the ultimate charitable gift of donating their organ to save somebody else's life. And we find that our donor families are the most special people. 
Uh, we also work very closely with a lot of recipients. Um, and there's so many great stories. Uh, just yesterday, uh, one of our staff members who joined us a couple of years ago related her story to our staff uh, about losing her um, six month old child mm. through a, a terrible accident. And she learned, was a nurse and learned about the sharing network through that donation and eventually applied for a job with us and became an employee. I mean, I've worked at the Sharing Network now for almost 23 years. Yeah. And I can't tell you, there's never been a day that I didn't enjoy getting up and going to work because of just the special mission that we do and how every day we try to save lives of people who are terribly sick with end-stage organ failure. My last question for you is, uh, people may already be organ donors. But beyond that, how can they get involved with you and your organization and uh, you know, take part and, and lend a hand? Well, first, uh, you can get involved with us uh, through our, our um, advocacy programs, uh, become a certified volunteer. Prior to the pandemic, and hopefully soon, we held them in person every month at our offices in New Providence. Mm -hmm. However, uh, we do now hold them virtually through Zoom meetings every month, and you can find that on our website. It's on the calendar. Uh, people then can learn about the organization, uh, can become certified volunteers, and help us spread the word about organ donation. Our volunteers are the are a great multiplier of our staff. Even though we have about 180 staff members, they can't be everywhere all the time. And so our volunteers are special to us. Uh, another thing that you can do, especially if you uh, either are an organ donor or believe in organ donation. If, you, if you've registered, let your family know uh, that you've done that. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't want to register for some reason, but you still want to be an organ donor, let your family know that also. So that it's not so difficult for them if they have to, have to um, uh, engage in, in a crisis situation if their, if their loved one became injured and, and could be eligible for organ donation. Sure. Joe Roth, the president and CEO of the New Jersey Sharing Network. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Thank you so much too. Appreciate it. 